Hi guys! In this video I'll show you how you can install XAMPP environment on Windows 8 and pretty much you could install the same way on Windows 10 or any other Windows version. And to do this let's go we will first find in Google ApacheFriends.org website. As you see here I am now in Apache apachefriends.org website index page and if for those who did don't know what is XAMPP environment then XAMPP environment is pretty it is basically the it is a development environment or local server which you can install on your computer so you can work with Apache server and MariaDB database and as well it installs a latest version of PHP to your computer so these are this is PHP development environment plus MariaDB or MariaDB is pretty much the same as MySQL it's more advanced even than MySQL and Perl as well we will not be using Perl so no point talking about it and once you are on this page you will see, you scroll down here and you will see download click for other versions if you need but we will not need other versions because here you see that here are uh, XAMPP environment available for as you see for Windows and for Linux and for Mac Max or Oper Mac OS if you are using uh, Apple computers but we will be using Windows and we will need it on our Windows as you see here down I already have installed this uh, XAMPP environment and if I click on it on this small icon you see that my XAMPP uh, control panel opens up and my server is, Apache server is already running and my SQL database is running but for you to download you just first click on this icon and when you click it you will see that XAMPP this executable file downloads on co your computer and you pretty much are ready to go because when it will install on your computer you will when you will click on it it will start uh, it will start uh, downloading uh, you will have to go through installation process where you answer questions like uh, where you agree to terms and conditions and then you just click finish and this environment gets installed on your computer and where you will see create desktop icon you just click uh, check that checkbox that uh, you want to create a desktop icon and this icon will appear on your desktop but let's wait a little bit until these downloads you will see now already I have 78 megabytes 80 81 it's 108 megabyte file so let's wait a little bit and it while it when it finishes down even it finishes downloading okay but yes and now i will start showing you how you can create websites how you can create classified websites registration systems using php oh here we go now it's installed let's just click on this and you will see that installation a uh, computer asks now do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer you say yes it's normal procedure it's just a security of your computer which asks do you want this program to allow access to your computer and of course you want and it always asks uh, this and once you have clicked that you have to wait and these icons will pop up until you get the icon important because an active user account control user on your system some functions of XAMPP are possibly restricted you just you can ignore this or you might even not get this message this is because I have already XAMPP installed but you will have this panel set up panel appearing on your on your in your scenario and you see here this next button you just click welcome to XAMPP setup wizard you click next then this is ok you click next again then here this is location where your XAMPP environment will be installed and usually normally it should be on C as you see backslash XAMPP and this is where you will be able to find this XAMPP environment installed on your computer I will show it to you shortly as well and once you this is done you click next selected folder is not empty because my my this area is or location is already busy 
because I, as I demonstrated you my XAMPP is already installed but you just finish this procedure by clicking next 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 and at the end you agree to terms and click finish and it will start installing and once you will install this on your computer then you can continue watching this video because now I will show you where your XAMPP environment is installed and like I mentioned before on your computer you will have so many windows I have opened on your desktop you will have icons similar to this as I have here at the bottom and when you click it this exam control panel will open up and you will see here Apache at the very first and you can it will be showing the start button you just click on it and it will start your Apache server and you will see this MySQL and you click start as well it will start your database and then you can open any browser you are using to test if your environment is working and you, to, you can test it by typing in local host okay and when you click OK enter you will see something's wrong with XAMPP installation this is because I have written this in index file but basically XAMPP is working uh, you can write anything in that file but I will show you where this file is located now if you open your folder system you go to this PC or your PC and you will see this Windows 8 OS or whatever it is you just double click on it and you will see this directory and if you s click here on the very top you will see that this exam directory is in C as we saw that it gets installed here so your XAMPP environment is here but now where all your PHP files will live is if you click in this XAMPP you will see this htdocs directory this is where all your projects all your websites you are creating will be located so click in it and here we find this index.php file where we got this message to our browser from and I will show you why this message got is disappearing in my scenario and I will show you what you should be getting instead so let's go back to our hit this and let's open this index.php file and I will open it with notepad plus plus okay and you see that something wrong with XAMPP installation but if I let's say comment it out as this is HTML page as well we will write just HTML comment here and I will uncomment this top part and you will see this should appear to you like save this let's go back to our uh, internet browser and you type in again localhost and click enter and this is what should appear on your screen normally when you install this uh, environment and like I mentioned you before all your websites will be located here every directory is treated as separate website and if you would want to go for example to my app website as you see I have here some website my app I don't even know or I don't remember what is in there then I would go localhost forward slash and my app and click enter and you should be redirected to that website uh, this is some website I created a long time ago I already have forgotten about this this is like works like this but this is basically website so that directory is any website you will be creating you will be creating new directory here as you see here I have WordPress website for example and if, if I would want to access this WordPress I would go again localhost from my browser WordPress like WordPress okay enter and you see that we get redirected to that particular WordPress site whatever it is in that directory this is another some website of mine okay guys this is pretty much how you install and set up your local host environment and just remember that all your files when you are creating new websites in PHP live in htdocs directory and pass to htdocs directory is c zamp and backslash htdocs okay guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a like as all your likes help my videos to stand out and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and see you in next videos.